Now, doing headstands have got a number of benefits, both mental and physiological, and not just for yoga practitioners. So this weekend, after a yoga class, I taught my new friend Mija just how to do it. And this is how it went down. So I'm going to be teaching my new friend from yoga class, Mija, how to do a headstand. So if you want to learn this move, get a mat and just follow along. Now the first thing we're going to be working on is our arm position. Now you want the palms of your hand to be perpendicular to your shoulders while you are on all fours, just like this. Now because we're working a tripod headstand, we're using the crown of our head and both our palms for balance. So you want to keep your hands shoulder width apart with the crown of your head in between. You want your eyes to be able to see your fingertips as well as your feet in that position. Now for the next step, we'll be transitioning into something called a half headstand. You're just going to go into the previous position, take your knees up and have your hips as high as possible. So you want to practice this half headstand till you get the hang of it and you are able to keep your legs straight. Now for the next step, we'll be transitioning from this half headstand into having both your knees on your elbows. Now, if you are doing this right, your elbow should be at a 90 degree angle as you can see. You want to have as much balance as possible so your knees have to rest firmly on your elbows when you do this. This is what I like to call an egg handstand because you literally look like an egg. Now this next step is where it gets a little bit difficult. From the egg headstand, we're going to try to drive our knees deeper down our elbows as close to our armpit as possible. And from there, we're going to try to lift both knees off our elbows and remain in a tucked position. This is a tucked headstand. Now if this is too difficult for you, you can of course try removing one knee at a time and then when you are comfortable enough removing both knees off your elbows you can practice the tucked headstand for longer periods of time till you get the hang of it Now it's important to know that you need some level of core strength to push your legs off your knees and keep them suspended in this position. But for a beginner, she actually killed it. Even I was impressed and clearly she was too. So for the very last step, we'll be taking our legs in that top position all the way to the sky and for this i decided that we we're going to go together so we take it one step at a time the half headstand the egg headstand taking it up to the top headstand and then gradually lifting legs all the way to the ceiling when you are doing this you want to go slow and steady as a beginner and then take your legs back down in the same order you took them back up but just in reverse at this point she was tired but she, she got the point and she actually tried so no harm done now of course you have to practice this move over and over again so you get the hang of it and master it and that is exactly what she did now if you've gone this far into the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already it really does help the channel And when you have finally mastered the basics of this position, you can play around with the leg movement to test your abdominal strength. Bringing your legs down in a horizontal manner tends to work your lower abs. And then you can of course play with other leg positions, do stuff like 
legs plates and then a number of other poses my first learning student was eager to do this as well so she tested her ab strength with different leg positions of course some positions are just too hard <laughs> but like i said you need to build some abdominal strength to control your leg movement and there are a number of ab workout tutorials on the channel for that and when you have mastered that you can of course move to more advanced yoga movements such as the crow pose or even trying a tucked planche like this it's been a while i did this so i was even surprised that i still had the strength now this should have been the end of the video but just to show how good the teacher i was my student was already teaching a friend from yoga class how to do a headstand and then another and before you knew it it was a headstand class by Mija. Now be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and let me know in the comment section how you found this video. I'll see you guys next week. Mad love. Peace.